Hey, what's up, guys? BossX7 here with another Nomus tutorial. And today we're going to be going over LSM track detailing as well as launch detailing. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so once you have your coaster built, we're going to go ahead and unfreeze it. In this case, my coaster is called Tutorial. And for the launch segment in front, we're going to want to have a hidden device in front. For the station, we want a few things here. So I have the, the station completely hidden for now because we want a clear slate to build our supports on. Let's go to Brake Device, Hidden Brake Device, and Transport, Hidden Transport Device. And last but not least, for the end here, right behind the station, change the track style so it's not the same, so you can uh, clearly identify when the station starts. So when you build the supports, you don't overshoot. So let's go ahead and freeze it. All right, now once the coaster's frozen, go ahead and make a new coaster file. Let's just call it whatever you want. I have one already open right here. All right, so once you have your coaster file open, we're gonna be building the support scenery with this. So let's go ahead and go to supports, add free node, and for preferences, for starters right now, we're going to go ahead and do snap distance 0.25 and snap angle 15 and make sure your grid size is 1. I am using Imperial, so there we go. And let's go to top view. Alright, so once you're in top view, we're going to go ahead and click two, two nodes right here, exactly three apart, because if you look on the track, these are exactly three apart. So let's go ahead and move this over here, alright. And this, this should only take you guys about 15-20 minutes, and it actually adds a lot to the realism. So let's go ahead and move on here. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and add four more nodes on the sides. And go ahead and move these in, just on these two lines here. There we go, and move them down one. Alright, down one right there, and down one. Okay, let's go ahead and go to Add Beam, Support Panel. Go to custom color and make it make it the same color as the track here and custom beam for the first one we're going to want profile width 1.4 and profile height 0.251 now the reason for the one on the end is because the beams that we're going to be adding below this one we don't want them to clip through and make those weird flashing uh effects that these sports do when they clip through each other so we're going to add a little bit more of a value to it so it's slightly above and make sure you have a horizontal beam there we're going to go ahead and draw this beam across from this bottom one up to the top, just like so. Let's go to back to the support panel here. Let's change this to 1 and change this to 0.25. There we go. Horizontal beam still. Press close and draw those across, just like so. All right. So when we go back to your perspective here, when we move this up a little bit and freeze it, you'll see that we should have a little piece here. All right. So you should have this little piece right here. Now we're going to copy and paste this and add it to the rest of the track. So let's go ahead and go ahead and top view. Let's go ahead and unfreeze it and move it over to the end here and see if, if you can find where the track starts. That's why we changed this track here so you can see clearly when station starts. So let me move it back just a little bit more. Just like so, right about here. All right. So once you get your thing lined up here, let's go ahead and go to sports to find copy. And we're going to go ahead and add this every three. So copy this and count three squares. So one two and three just like so go ahead and make sure these are lined up and they are perfect okay so we're going to actually move this forward just a little bit all right so let's go ahead and copy these again to find copy and add to find paste and let's go ahead and line these up three squares apart so one two and three just like so and make sure they are lined up because if they aren't you have to adjust it later Find copy that whole thing one more time and do the same thing for the length of the track or for the length of the launch. All right, so now once that's done, we should have enough here. Let's go ahead and verify in perspective these are all lined up, which they are, and we do have enough to fit the end here. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and add the center beam. So let's go ahead and add two nodes here. So add, add one node somewhere on this end right over here and scroll over to this end and add this, do the same thing. Okay, there we go. So to get this on the grid, we're gonna go ahead and highlight our copy and paste sections here. So go ahead and highlight the whole thing. And let's go ahead and go to front view and let's just move it onto the grid. There we go. And that's to verify that these two nodes do line up perfectly on the same grid. All right, so let's go ahead and line this up right in the middle. There we go. And do the same thing for over here. So let's just grab this and line it up right on this end. All right, now once you got those in place, go to support panel, make that width one and height 0.252 and draw from this beam all the way over to this one over here that we just added. There we go. And we're actually gonna go ahead and take this 
and move this back a whole bunch. All right. Let's go to top view, let's highlight the whole thing, and let's line it up on the track. So let's go ahead and move it right over it. You see this fits perfectly. Let's go to perspective, and let's make sure it's lined up at the end of the station, which it is perfectly. There we go. Let's page up a little bit. And now you're gonna get to a point where you need to page up a little bit more. So let's go ahead and go to preferences here, and let's change the snap distance to point one. There we go. And let's just page up just a few more times there, and that looks good. All right, so you should have all these nodes on top of the track. And you see uh, this extends way too far. So let's go ahead and highlight this entire thing. All the stuff that we don't need. All the way up into this last port where the track starts to curve up. So just about here. And unclick this right here. And press delete. There we go. And let's go ahead and move this back into place. So grab this and right dead center. There we go. And let's go ahead and make sure these are all lined up by freezing it. All right, you can see now frozen that this is coming together pretty nicely. So all we need to do now is where every single support joint is, we're gonna go ahead and delete uh, these X frames here. So let's go ahead and unfreeze it. And you can see here, there's one right here above the support. All right, so let's go ahead and highlight this section right here above the support. Unhighlight that line and delete. And let's do the same thing for these ones. So we have this one right about here. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight the whole thing and uncheck this line here, and delete. All right, perfect, now that's looking good. So now next step, we're gonna go ahead and add the LSM fins. So let's go ahead and go to top view, and you can see this is looking pretty good. All right, so let's go ahead and unfreeze it. Let's go to supports, let's go to add free node, and we're gonna go ahead and do the same length as this, and we're gonna skip every two squares, so add one here. Oops, let's go ahead and go to preferences and change this back to 0.5. That should be good. And we're gonna go ahead and skip two, skip two, skip two, etc. for the length of the launch, as well as the station. All right, we have reached the end. And let's go ahead and make sure the front here is all set, which we are. All right, so first thing you want to do is go ahead and highlight the entire thing. And just go ahead and press Define Copy, Add Define Paste. And just add it somewhere over here, all right? Let's go ahead and go to Perspective. And locate our nodes here. All right, cool. So they're right here. So we're going to go ahead and add the fins now. So let's go ahead and go to Sports, Support Panel. Let's pick an off-white right about here. So you can see this is off-white. Not completely, but a little lower. There we go, and let's make the custom box beam with 0.1, and let's make the height 1. There we go, and at the start and at the end, make this negative 0.2, and negative 0.2. And close that out, and we're going to go ahead and add a beam to each one of these beam nodes here, all the way across. All right, there we go. So let's go ahead and make sure you didn't miss any. So let's freeze it. All right, so you can already see that we missed one right here. And let's make sure that the rest of the track is good. So let's go ahead and fix this real quick. On freeze, supports, add beam, and copy this. All right, there we go. So let's go ahead and highlight the whole thing and define copy it. Now the reason why you define copy this one over here is just in case you mess something up over here. You already have a copied and pasted uh, version of it. So you can go ahead and copy that one once again if you need to redo it. So we're going to go ahead and copy this one that we just added the supports to. So define copy. And we're going to change the values of the supports. So add define paste. And let's highlight that entire thing. So this is the second one here. So we can go ahead and delete this one for now. Because we do not need it anymore. There we go. And so this is the second one. So let's go ahead and highlight the whole thing. Perspective. And double click on the supports here. Let's go to custom color, make it an off black, and the width should be 0.3, height should be 0.2, at the start should be negative 0.1, at the end, negative 0.1, press enter, and close. Let's see if that works, let's go ahead and freeze it, and it did. So we should have these connectors for the LSM fins, alright? 
So let's go ahead and do it to top view once again. Unfreeze. Let's highlight this first round of nodes here. And let's go ahead and drag them right over the second ones. And page up, I believe one time. There we go. This is on 0.5 snap. Let's freeze it. And there we go. So we should have our LSM launch bins that are equally separated all the way across. Last step here, let's go ahead and unfreeze it. Let's go to top view and copy this entire thing and drag it right over to, to the track here and go ahead and page up. There we go. And it should be right above just like so, as you see here. And let's make sure it goes all the way to the end and stops, which it does. And let's go ahead and freeze it. All right, there we go. So we can save our own custom LSM track as well as the fins. And our very last step here is just to add the station back and the cars back. So let's go ahead and unfreeze. And to the wrong one, let's go ahead and go to our coaster. Unfreeze here. And let's go ahead and make the station uh, no roof and keep these all hidden. There we go. And let's go to coast properties and trains one. All right. And freeze. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's tutorial. I think the fins turned out really well. This should only take you guys about 15, 20 minutes at the max. Just follow the steps in the video, and you guys should be fine. This does work for angled uh, lifts as well, so go ahead and test that out if you like. And uh, yeah, so if you guys have any suggestions for tutorials, don't really leave a comment down below. And if you guys like the video, don't forget to leave a like, and uh, go ahead and subscribe for more. Find your way back home